Again, welcome to CSC 28 class. This lecture, we are going to implement decision tree algorithm using Python. So before we start our example, first we need some few packages and also our data set. That's both the training data set and also test set. So our training data set will come from adult ch training. Then our test set will come from adult ch. Again, it depends where you save your file. So this is the directory where my file was saved for the training set and also for the test set, the directory. So our training set will be in a, a file name adult tr and then the test data set will be an adult test. Then we need to import the OS package Gravis, pandas, numpy, start models, dot tools, dot tools. And also we need to import a decision tree classifier from sklearn.tree, then export Gravis. Now export Gravis make it possible for us to visualize our decision tree that we created or developed. Then of course, the pandas and numpy will be used for again data analysis statistics concept, and we shall see the example. So let's go with our first example. Again, before we start our homework assignment, also we need to import these packages. Then, of course, this is classification or gary decision trace a classification or gary then. So we need a training set and also a test data set. So before we do our homework assignment again, follow this instruction here, import all these packages and have your training set and, it, uh, and also the test set ready. So our first example here, they say we should construct a C 5.0 model using the test data set that utilizes the same target variable, also predicted variables and also the minimal cases criteria. Now we know the predictor variables will be, for example, if I'm going to classify a customer, whether it's a, it has a high risk or low risk for credits, and then that will be my target variable. So my target variable will be whether the customer is high risk or low risk, yes or no. That's it. Now my predicted variable will be maybe the customer income and the customer savings and the customer access. So these are the variables that can determine whether the customer will have a high risk or low risk in terms of credit. Next, we are going to visualize the decision tree. So we already imported a package for that, which is the, again, the Gravis package. Then next, they ask us a question, does the test data result match the training data set? Okay, so now before we start, we already imported the packages that we need. We are all, we also have our adult tests already. We also have our adult training, which is adult TR. And let's go back to the previous slide. So we should have adult TR already. We get the adult TR rec records from adult CHC training file. Also, adult CH6 test file, we also assign to adult test. So now we're going to use the adult test. The adult test have an attribute name income. So that will, will be our target variable. So we assign the income to Y. Now we are going to convert the categorical variable to dummy variables. So in this case, we have to use the array method. Remember, we already imported the numpy as mp. So to use the array command or function, we say mp.array. And what we are doing, the marital status variable, we are converting it to again. And that's a categorical variable. We convert it to dummy variables. Then next we use the start tools. Remember, we also imported the start tools package, start model.tools.2 as a start tools. So we can use it now. We use the start tools.categorical. 
method then what we are doing the mr underscore np we are again converting the category variable to dummy variable then next we are going to combine the dummy variables back with so we use here yeah, again pd we already have the package for pandas as pd so it's a pd dot data frame and we are using the, again the MRCAT, the categoric. Then we assign it to M M A R underscore CAT underscore PD. Then here we are combining it. So we use the function concate. So we combine again concate is in the pandas package. So PD dot concate add dot test the attribute gap cap gains losses command then the mar underscore cat underscore pd and we set the axis to one then next we are going to specify the names of combined matrix and the target variable so here we have the cap gains losses divorce married never married, separated, window, and we assign to the X underscore names. Then the Y section, Y underscore names, will be either the value is less than or equal to 50,000 or greater than 50,000. So now we have our S and Y names. Next, we are going to train our C 5.0 model. Now, Python doesn't have a specific uh, method or a specific package for C 5.0 model. So what we do is that in Python, we use the decision tree classifier. Then we set the criterion to entropy. And that this will make it uh, in Python, uh, that's for C 5.0. So remember, we're going to use the same decision tree classifier to create the, the model for CART, C-A-R-T. So we set the criterion to entropy. Now we are going to do our mean sample split will be 75 and also the mass leaf node we make it five. Then it's going to fit on S and Y, fit S, Y. Now next, after this is again training the C5.0 model. So after that, we are going to obtain the tree structure with labels. This is where we use the export graph views to visualize our data. So remember when we create the model, the decision tree model, we assign it to C50 underscore zero one. So if I want to visualize the model, the decision tree, I will use export underscore graphics C50 underscore zero one. Then the, we set the art file to be known, the features names equal to X names. The class names will be Y names. Then in order to display the plot, we have to use the function graph this dot source source and data dot view to view it. So this will be our result. So we're going to get a decision tree and we can see the married is less than or equal to 0 0.5 entropy for the root node 0.796 sample 6155 and the values 4674 and 14,000 of 1481. The class here is less than or equal to 50K. So if it's true, then we test our cap gains losses. And these are the entropy, the samples that is left for that section. And then if it's false, this is what we have. Then we have our leaf node, each one. 
Now, the next question said that the first two spreads of the data are similar. As we can see, the first two spreads, the data are similar. And there's only one, only slight variations on the third and the final spread of the tree, which will be this section. Uh, we can see the slight difference. And the question here is saying that does the test test data result match the training data set? So before we do this, we're supposed to have done the training. Here we are using the test. So let's look at another example. Use the random forest on training data set to predict income using, again, marital status and capital gains and losses. So here also we have to import the random forest classifier. Again, Python have the random forest classifier package. Then we also need a NumPy. So we save our target variable, which is again income from the adult training. This is Y. The same thing we did previously, we convert the categorical variable to dummy variable using, using the array. So np.array, adult training, the marital status. Then we use the statuscategorical and the M. A R underscore NP, the drop is true. And also the date names, uh, date names is also true. Now we combine the dummy variables as we did previously. So we use the concat, pd.concat, the cap gains losses. Then we format for random forest model. So we use the NP dot Ravel and Y. Remember Y is our training set. So now we are going to train our random forest. And here we are using the, the criteria will be Gini index or Gini. So this will return again our prediction for the uh, using the random forest. Classification. So we return prediction. We use the, the result we got for our training dot predict the X. And that will give us the result. So again, this is how we use uh, random forest. You are using random forest on the training data set to predict income. And this and the income, we are going to use the marital status and cap. So the in the data set, we have our marital status capital gains and losses attribute. So those attribute we are going to use to predict the income. And that's what we can see here. So first of all, we convert the category variable to dummy for the marital status. Okay, so then next exercise or example. In this example here, we are going to use the loan training data set and also loans test data set. So the loans training will be used to train the model. Then the loans test data set will be used to test the model. So now before we do that, again, we need to import everything we did previously. We need to import, here we are going to use the cut. So we need to import the decision tree classifier there and uh, first of all, before we can read our data also, we need a pandas. So same as the previous example, we import pandas, numpy, decision tree classifiers. So we read our data, the loan training, and also the loan test. Loan train and loan test. And we read it to y and x. So y becomes our target variable, loan train approval, then loan train debt to income ratio, uh, our FICO, this will be a credit score, then request amount. 
So those will be our predator variable and I provide yes or no. And in this example here, we said we got, we create in a cat model and using the training set to predict approval, using depth to income ratio, FICO or FICO score and request amount. So those are the three predicted predator variables, which is here, depth to income ratio, FICO score, request amount. Then our target variable is approval. So if we have those two data as S and Y, the predator variable is in X and also the target variable is in Y. So we're going to train our CAT model. So we use the decision tree classifier and we set our criterion to journey. Again, if you want to create a C 5.0, we set a criterion to, again, entropy. We set it to entropy. Then here we want the mass leave node to be five dot fees S and Y. Now, next we're going to specify the names of the combined matrix and the target variable. So we say S dot columns, we assign to S underscore names. Then the approver, we use the function list. First of all, set uh, or the Y approver list, we assign it to Y. So here we are creating a list of the approvers. The next we obtain the tree structure and the, the tree structure with labels. And so here we want to visual the, the graph of the tree to visualize the decision tree. So we use the export underscore gravis. Again, the name is cat01. Remember here, the training cat model, we assign the, this, the training model to cat01. So our attribute cat01, the art file is known. Feature name is the S names and the class name is the Y names. Then we need to visualize or display the plot. So we said graphics.sourcedata.view. And this will be our result. So this is our uh, graph data set with our results. Now here also the first, the three first split on FICO score, and then has a second split on the depth to income ratio variable for records with a higher FICO. So we can see the root node again is FICO score based on the Gini index. That was what was selected. Then we can see the next. We have the Gini index 0 0.076, sample size, the values, and that will be our first leaf. So the answer is true. True means the approval is granted, the approval is true. So if the approval is not granted, then we need to check depth to income ratio. Normally in decision tree, the attribute, the decision node to make a decision is selected based on the Gini index value. So we can see here Gini index value is 417. You can see below it, the Gini value is less. And the root, you can see the Gini values are so. The higher the Gini value, the chance of selecting will be. If not that this is already a leaf, now look when this is a leaf, the Gini is very small, 0 0.076. One more example here, if they say we should build a C 5.0 model using training, using the training data set that predict approval, using depth to income ratio, FICO score and request amount. So we are using the same predictor variables uh, and also approval target variable, same as the previous example. In the previous example, again, we create a cut model. This time we are going to create a C 5.0. So all the steps will be the same except 
the decision tree classifier, the criterion will be entropy. So again, we say in Python, we don't have a specific uh, method or function for creating a C 5.0. Uh, it's the same as creating the cart. We use the decision tree classifier, but with cart and uh, with cart, we set the criteria to Gini or Gini in this. Then with uh, C five point zero, we set the criteria to entropy. Apart from that, all the steps are the same. Again, here we are zooming. We already import all the packages. Decision tree, NumPy, pandas, etc. Then we have we already read our files, both the training data set and also the test data set. So we have the loan train approval, we set it to Y, and also loan train for the predator variables, debt to income ratio, FICO score. And request amount, we set it to X. Then we specify the names of the matrix and their target variables. It will be S dot columns to S name. Then we create our list for Y section approval to Y names. Then we train our C 5.0 model. So we use the decision tree classifier. The criteria is again, that's the difference here, entropy. Now we can obtain the tree structure with labels using the export underscore graphics. Then we can visualize the graph with view. So graphics.source the data dot view. And this is our result. So we can see also here the entropy was 1.0. So that's why FICO was selected first as the root node. The sample size is 150,302, and the values for both approval or not approval is given. Then, if it's true, that is the FICO score if it's less than or equal to 656.5. If it's true, then we're going to check FICO scores. Again, here we can see the entropy is 0 0.168. And the next, the entropy is 0 0.578 and 0 0.028. So that will be the conclusion of this lecture. Again, this uh, video is to go through similar questions as the homework assignment. So the main thing I will say here, okay, and these are the steps for both C5.0 or any decision tree. And also most important is to make sure we import the right packages. So these are the packages. Make sure we import the OS, the Gravis, Pandas, NumPy, also the start models, then the decision tree classifier. With this decision tree classifier, again, we can create both the CART, C-A-R-T, uh, then C5.0. But with the random forest, we need to use, uh, yeah, we are using decision tree classifier. If the criteria is uh, entropy, we are creating C5.0. If it's Gini, then we are creating CART. Now, if you want to create random forest, we have a special method for that, which is random forest classifier. Now for C5.0 and CART, we use the decision tree, decision tree classifier. So again, wish everybody the best and thank you. Again, if you have any question about the assignment, you can send an email.